Hi, my name's Ben Lackey. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Couchbase using the AWS Marketplace. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email or say hi on Twitter at Ben and Ben. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to quit out of these slides and I'm going to go over to the AWS Marketplace page. And I'm already logged in, you can see, as Ben Lackey at Couchbase. I'm going to search for Couchbase here. And you currently see four different results. Uh, there's our server product, our sync gateway product, and those are available in hourly pricing and BYOL, bring your own license modes. I'm going to click on server and we're going to show how to deploy a, a cluster uh, using that. You can also deploy single AMIs of all of these, but that's a, an extremely straightforward process. So let's click on that. And you can see here a description of the product and what's available as well as pricing information and various helpful links and all sorts of stuff. To deploy a cluster, I click here on delivery methods and select cloud formation. I can then click continue to go to the next screen. And there are a variety of different options for launch. Uh, I'm going to go down here and click Launch with CloudFormation Console. And that redirects me here. At this point, you can upload a CloudFormation template. This is using the one from the Marketplace. So I click Next here, and it loads in some default parameters. Uh, each node is going to have an EBS GP2 disk of 100 gig. There are going to be four nodes. They're M4s. Uh, I need to pick a key. Uh, it looks like I already have one I can use. And then I need uh, to enter in user name and password for the cluster. So I'll do that. And I'm going to call it Couchbase. And the last thing is, is sort of an Amazon oddity. Uh, they require a CIDR block for SSH. And there can't be a default value for that, so you have to enter that in. And for the vast majority of cases, you're just going to want to allow SSH from anywhere. So that's 0, .0, 0, .0, 0, .0, 0 slash 0, uh, anything. So I can hit Next. Don't need to save that. Um, I could potentially tag the deployment, but I don't really need to do that either. Hit next again, and I, I need to acknowledge that the template's using I am. I, this is some stuff in the startup scripts that needs to grab information about the different nodes in order to configure the cluster. So hit create. And now it's thinking and creating. It redirects us over to this view showing uh, stacks, but it's not showing any stacks yet. I bet if I hit refresh, yep, sure enough, uh, here's our new stack being created. And you can drill down on it and, and look at what's going on. This usually takes a few minutes to run. So at this point, I'm going to pause the recording and we can come back once it's finished running and look at the deployed cluster. Okay, so we're back. I just got a message that a creation of the stack is complete. We can go down here and see the different events and, and you see all done there, uh, all sorts of other things done. So we should have a full cluster running. Let's flip over to EC2 and, and check on that. And click there, click on EC2. And you can see here, it looks like we have four running instances, a bunch of volumes, so I must have had some extra volumes lying around before this deployment ran. But let's click on the instances. And you can see they're still starting up a bit, some of the status checks initializing and all. But sure enough, four machines uh, spread across different AZs for better fault resilience. And they have different public IP addresses. So let's try to grab one of these. I'm going to copy that and open a new tab. I'm going to look at port 8091 on that machine. And it's pulling up this Couchbase console. 
So let me type in the username and password I specified earlier in the deployment. And uh, this sometimes happens. Uh, the IP addresses move around while it's deploying, but uh, not a big deal. Just disregard that warning. So you can see here, we now have four machines up and running. Uh, we can also look at them uh, in this view, and you see each different node is configured with the uh, public DNS name, and that resolves to the public DNS if invoked from outside of VPC or the private uh, from inside. Amazon calls that split brain DNS. Each of these nodes is running all the services, data, full text, index, and query. So that's pretty much it. A uh, couple clicks, wait a few minutes, and Couchbase cluster just boom, up and running in Amazon. Let me know if you have any questions and if there's any way I can assist. Thanks so much for watching.